Okay, guys, this is the latest update on the 63-year-old American that was found deceased in his hotel room uh, about two days ago. Bernard Lee Satterwhite Jr., a 63-year-old American, was found in the property he had rented for six months. In the early hours of this Saturday, the loss of a foreign citizen was reported in Medellin in the Laureles neighborhood. Bernard Lee Satterwhite Jr., a 63-year-old American, was found deceased in his apartment in the Porto del Velodrome building. The Metropolitan Police of Medellin received the report of his passing at 3.10 a.m. in the morning when the owner of the property informed the authorities. According to the information provided to the Metropolitan Police at 3.10 a.m., the 123 emergency line received a call alerting them of a lifeless body inside an apartment on Carrera 75 and 52nd. The call was answered by offers from the Immediate Attention Command at Quadrant 6 of the Colora Sector, who went to the scene with the judicial police to carry out the technical inspection of the body. The report said Satterwhite Jr., an American pensioner who had been living in the apartment for six months and was suffering from health problems that acquaintance said had worsened in the recent days. The version provided by the owner of the apartment, Herman Harvara, maintains that Satterwhite had expressed feeling unwell in the days prior to his passing. Despite his friend Fernando Moreno's persistent attempts to take him to a medical center, the deceased refused to receive care. Moreno tried to help Satterwhite when he noticed his symptoms worsening and, sensing his condition, asked the owner for help, who contacted the emergency services. Investigations and proceedings are carried out. The Metropolitan Police of Medellin activated the protocols for this type of situations, and agents from the Sihan and Medellin carried out a technical inspection of the body, including photographic and topographical procedures of the place of the body. Initial medical tests did not indicate any apparent physical injuries on the body, nor any signs of violence. So far, the authorities have not found evidence that the passing was linked to a criminal act, but rather they attribute the cause to health problems, which is still being confirmed by the autopsy that will be carried out at the Institute of Legal Medicine and Forensic Sciences. The testimony of, of witnesses and security cameras. One of the aspects that has been fundamental in its investigation is the testimony of the owner, who was the last person to contact Satterwhite while he was alive. According to his statement, Satterwhite was in the company of Moreno, who insisted on taking him to a doctor when his condition worsened, but he refused the offer of help. At this moment, when Moreno was trying to give him the first aid, the owner went up to the apartment and was the one who finally contacted the emergency line. In addition, the building where the deceased lived has security cameras that are being reviewed by the police. These recordings could provide greater clarity regarding the moments before his passing and verify whether there were any additional visitors or unusual events that could have affected his health. Bernard Lee Satterwhite Jr., born on May 29, 1961, had no criminal record and was a U.S. citizen. He had been living alone in the apartment for six months, according to the police report, there are no known relatives or other close contacts in Colombia. It was also reported that he made monthly payments of 2 million pesos for the apartment's rent and that he suffered from diabetes, a condition that could have influenced his health. Again, we send prayers and good vibes to the family and friends of Mr. Satterwhite. And please let this be an alert for everyone to talk to people, meet people, Create a network of friends and associates that will look out for you when you are in another country. I mean, that helps in this country, of course, but even more so when you're in a foreign territory and you may or may not be able to speak the language. This was brought to me in a comment the other day that maybe a lot of people don't go to the hospitals because they're not familiar with speaking the language. So in that case, if you do need someone to take you to the hospital and and you're not sure, you don't know anybody there, you're not sure, reach out to me. Number one, I'll find somebody there. I'll put out the word, if nothing else, for somebody to come check on your friend, to check on you, to check on your family members. Keep in mind, we are a community. We are a community of expats and travelers and visitors to this country, which happens to be Colombia. So if you're going to be in Medellin, Colombia, I'm not sure about the other cities. Cartagena, of course, is a main draw, Barranquilla, um, um, and of course, Bogota. But, but it would behoove you to speak to people. If you're going to go to a bar, start talking to people. Uh, to people. I met a cat the other night at the bar, just 
great guy. I mean, you never know who you're speaking to and who you can relate to. So talk to people, talk to people, meet people, get your own network. It may save your life or the life of your family or friends. Anyway, again, you're up to date with the latest out of Medellin, Colombia and Colombia as a whole. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to travel, but travel safe. Okay, hold, hold, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Right quick. If you need to have things shipped to Colombia, shipped to someone else, or shipped to yourself to Colombia from the United States, make sure you reach out to CaribbeanShipper.com. CaribbeanShipper.com. The contact information is coming next. Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob Official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob Official One on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're you're just so stupid. I, I had to send you a video to let you know you're so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. Headed to Medellin, Colombia? See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. If you're in Medellin and you need dental work done, from a basic cleaning to major reconstructive surgery, come see my guy, Dr. Carlos Mori. Contact information in the description below. Thanks for hitting like. You did the right thing by hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. DC Born Rob.